Hey guys, welcome back to The Merge, the wrestling guide for jiu-jitsu, powered by Fuji Sports. So one of the biggest upsets in NCAA wrestling history was Darian Caldwell's victory over returning national champion and number one seed, Brett Metcalf. Now, I was born and raised in New Jersey, so Darian was a very familiar name for me as I saw him dominate all through high school, but I don't think any of us were ready for the tricks he pulled out that night. Early in the first period, they're in an over-under situation, and as Brent tries to pummel that arm in, Darian sets him up with this beautiful sag headlock. The sag headlock, it's not a, uh, it's not a very drastic head over heels type of throw. We're getting our hips in and like elevating our opponent up, okay? Uh, really, we're twisting their upper body, sagging our hips, dragging them down to the mat to some degree as we punch that arm. My left leg is leading here. Uh, the same side arms will be the one twisting, crossing over for the headlock. Uh, let's say my right leg is leading here. I don't want to twist over my opposite leg, right? It's really awkward. It's not going to work. Uh, another detail, uh, just starting with our uh, hips and down, uh, my legs are going to be pivoting. There's not much movement for my legs besides a pivot, okay? As my legs pivot, my hips also pivot, and my hips getting closer to his hip from here, okay? From the upper body perspective, this right arm is above the elbow. I'm clamping on his tricep. It could be a clamp here. Some will have an overhook, but I'm pulling it in and twisting, okay? As I twist him, you can see his body's already kind of going in that headlock motion, twisting over. This left arm, really crucial, really important, okay? I'm punching this left arm across and down, hugging the head, okay? I also don't need to clasp my hands from here. I can just hold on to the arm here, hence why some folks just call this a head and arm. But just going back to it, comparing it to like a blast double, this is not gonna be an easy technique. This is not gonna be a slow, kind of pressure pass kind of technique. This is very, very explosive. If you do this correctly, um, you usually feel like your armpit, pec, uh, lat area, so like smashing into your opponent's neck and ear area. So putting this all together now, about like 50, 60%, I'm gonna twist, pivot, punch the arm, pull. All right, so Metcalf and Caldwell, they come back up to neutral, and uh, Caldwell has this arm already uh, overhooked, and he has a tight grip on the tricep. Metcalf starts pummeling in with this arm here, and just pause here for a quick second. This is a total bait by, uh, by Caldwell. This was, this was a beautiful setup. As uh, Metcalf starts to pummel, and he's making it difficult for him. He's not gonna just give it up and let this arm uh, pummel in very easily. So he's making Metcalf work for this pummel here, and as the elbow pops through, right, that's a clear path right to the neck and the headline. As it pops through, he's gonna twist his hips, sag his hips, and hit the headlock. Thanks for tuning in to The Merge. For more episodes, head over to themergeonline.com where you can subscribe for free, follow us on social media, and I'll see you guys next week.